I greet you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love the Church. And our aim is to ensure that there is unity in the body of Christ. So I uploaded a video. I believe my time, it was actually 3 a.m. I just saw the video and I thought of uploading it. So um, this is a follow-up video to the video that you just saw quite recently. If you haven't watched it, I'm leaving the link in the pinned comment. So this we're going to be starting with uh this video of where prophet angel talked about apostle mike i was i was uh having a discussion with um young young apostle coming up i'm totally i'm telling you on fire for god uh it's called apostle michael orokbo very powerful very very powerful and i said see the 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 church now is lacking men and women of god who actually understand the spiritual realm as a spiritual realm is a realm you know you understand where you see the spiritual realm and say this is a spiritual realm you know the scriptures that are there are way kind of so it is from this uh small video that trended on social media that um prophet uber angels better they then also came up and this is what apostle mike said where he was talking about the fellowship that they now have his excellency ambassador prophet hubert angel i'm so delighted in my spirit to celebrate you today you have been a special messenger of god to a generation the impact of your life and ministry have affected the body of Christ in such a positive way that cannot be measured or quantified. You have shifted the prophetic ministry to another level. Your prophetic accuracy and apostolic authority coupled with excellence and dexterity have really, really revolutionized the, the prophetic ministry. And we are so delighted to receive of your ministry in this generation. Your sonesis of the word of God and depth in the things of the spirit is mind blowing. You have literally opened up the body of Christ to another dispensation of spiritual realities. When we watch people like you, we are, we are, we are excited because we know that in our day and time men are fulfilling the prophecy of first peter 2 9 you are a royal priesthood god's special messenger called for to showcase the excellencies of god thank you for all you do for the body of christ thank you for your sacrifice in the word and in doctrine thank you for your sacrifice in the spirit you have imparted many people and you have shifted many people to new realms in their operation in the spirit i thank the lord for this beautiful union that we share and i believe that in the days to come god will bring us even to higher places and pedestals in the spirit where we bear a higher responsibility even as we advance the frontiers of the kingdom it's my delight today to celebrate you and i know that it's a new season for you god bless you sir so talking of fellowship there is this video which i came across and i'm going to be sharing with you where we see apostle mike imparting on prophet hubert angel's biological son prophet hubert angel jr let's watch Rabakata, river, river, overflow. Mighty river, overflow. River, overflow. Declare that now. River, river, overflow. Mighty river, overflow. River, overflow. My world is waiting, waiting for the river. So personally, this is what I just love to see among ministers. Just imagine, just think of it for a moment. Just uh, envision 
Prophet Angel on a pulpit, Apostle Arame Osai, Apostle Joshua Selman, Apostle Mike, Pastor Chris, Pastor Benny, Bishop Boye Depo, Pastor E. Adeboye. All these are ministers with great ministries. Just imagine them on a pulpit one day in fellowship and in prayer. It is which will really be a great sight to behold. So this is what we love and what we would want to see among ministers in the body of Christ. So let's see what Prophet Makandiwa has to say about the fellowship between the ministers. What does it bring about? And I will say this in closing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will meet you in the next one. God bless you. You need to have that, 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 that cluster. Because if you are, because you understand the Bible, Saul himself, he was told that you will meet a company of prophets. And when he met that company, there was a sharing mm. of grace where Saul began to prophesy. Mm. And they were saying, now he's prophesying. That company, that union, mm. it matters who is around you.